And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Over the line they come. Back oh. in with intention. He scores! What an effort. They keep staying at the game. They push. They're looking for the time goal. They finally get it. He gets in so tight to the goaltender, the goalie's backed up towards the goal line, but he still makes a nifty move. Beats him on the backhand. certainly opens up a lot of decision making for the coaches doesn't it it does but they must feel pretty good about their position because they just they scored score. i suspect score. they've got a little bit of a leg up oh, even though the game is tied mcdavid's lugging the puck and now he passes up to matthews throws it on goal he scores that's just a minute between goals that sure changes things here on the ice the game has completely been turned upside down. Goalie's trying to read here. He gets out at the top of his crease, makes the move to the butterfly, still gets beat up over the blocker. Toronto's coaches are pretty active on the bench there, Ray. What are you hearing? Well, they're happy that they've got the lead, but they want to make sure that nobody sits back to defend. The Canadians win it. Puck grabbed by Mete. Toronto's got the puck along the boards. Off the left wing and into center. Montreal's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Scooped up along the wall by Ovechkin. Matthews shows good hands collecting the pass. He's already got the tiebreaker earlier on. Just higher than it. He's probably going to get a word from his forward. About, hey, you might want to keep that down. We're in here fighting for a position. We get knocked over. The puck was right over my head. And we got a timeout down at ice level here, right? Eh? Uh, both teams get to catch their breath and maybe reorganize a little bit. Lots of times there's not much said at these timeouts. Montreal's offensive struggles have been the story tonight. Lots of chances, just not a lot of results. From the blue line, comes up with a stop. Finish, but when you're up among the league leaders, you get chances, you put them away. Montreal's running out of time. They need to find a goal here quickly as they trail late in the third. Kakaniemi's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. Inside of the last minute here in this third. Manson's got the puck in his own zone. A chance in front. Oh, a clutch save! Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Just up and over the net. Defensemen that score from distance don't shoot it up there. Look at the best. They shoot it knee down and it finds a way in. Ahead of steam, Ken rings the iron. Picked up along the boards by Bobrovsky. Quick shot, off target. Montreal gained possession along the boards. Carries it across the line. What a great read breaking up the pass. They desperately need a goal. The net is empty and the extra attacker's out. They've got the defense outnumbered. And breathe! I got two of these in my career. I was never out at the end of the game. Good 400 goals and only scored two empty netters? Yeah, when we were protecting the lead, it was safest with me sitting down. What an indictment. Oh, yeah. Well, now you got a couple of goal lead here with the empty netter. That should be enough to put this away. Toronto 
Angels added to their lead with the empty netter, and Ray, that's pretty much all she wrote, I would say. Well, you grind away to get the lead through this much of the game, and they pull the goalie, they're gonna pressure you. You put it away with an easy one into the empty net. There it is, final horn sounds. We are all over here with this one. It's like the old song goes, all they do is win, win, win. Man, it's fun when you play like this. Your team goes into a game you almost know you're gonna win, and they've put together a long winning streak. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us tonight.